much commoner than is generally thought, is the simple answer. Um, in children, the prevalence is 5 to 7%. That's, that's the range of quite extensive research that's been done. In adults, it is approximately 3%, which of course means 1 in 30 people have symptoms. Nowhere near that number of people are diagnosed, particularly in the UK. Thinking in the UK has been affected by several issues. Firstly, British psychiatry has had a tendency to think of ADHD in terms of hyperkinetic disorder. And hyperkinetic disorder is a much more severe condition, often associated with brain damage in children. We are not talking about hyperkinetic disorder. We're talk here we're talking about a much milder and more subtle condition. Hyperkinetic disorder is quite rare. The, the other piece of information which I think has affected the way the British psychiatrist thinks about, think about ADHD is some research which was done looking at the continuation of symptoms from childhood into adulthood, which tended to show that at the age of around 17 or 18, ADHD disappeared and therefore it remained a childhood condition. The problem with that piece of research is that it used the same tool to measure symptoms in children as in adults. We already know that adults present differently. They're not as hyperkinetic, they're not as hyperactive. If you use tools which measure adult symptoms, it actually shows 50 to 66% of, of adults retain symptoms from childhood, which is quite an enormous number, to be perfectly honest. And this is borne out, you know, I see people every week, this is borne out in individuals who come to see me and say, I had these symptoms in childhood and they just haven't gone away. Um, and the other thing to say is that the tasks that people face change. Somebody who is inattentive or mildly inattentive as a child may be able to cope with primary school and making plasticine animals and colouring. They may not be able to cope so well with GCSE maths. If they can't cope with that, they certainly won't be able to cope with A-levels. And by the time they get to university, where there's much less structure and spoon-feeding of information, they often flounder enormously. So it's quite common to see people at certain key points, GCSEs, A-levels, degree level, or sometimes even when they get to employment, because the tasks are very different sometimes in processing information in a job as opposed to studying. So you have to take the symptoms in the context of what is happening in that person's life. And another time when people present is often after childbirth. Not immediately after childbirth, but when the skill set required changes. So being able to hold down a job and being single is different from having a, a child and being able to hold down a job. It's, it requires multitasking. And I quite often see young women who decompensate when they have a child because of the complexity of the, the nature of their lifestyle all of a sudden from just simply working. One other thing to say is that ADHD generally is slightly more common in males than in females, but it is present in both sexes.